set your sights and wait for my order to fire. New Zealanders on the left flank. Wait until they dismount and open fire on them. Fire. Fire! Good, sir. In the center, the main British force. any progress. Perhaps you should consider sending in the Australians. British Tommy doesn't need any help, sir. Stay in line. Stay ready. Don't worry. We'll see some action this time. Don't hold your breath. Order retreat. Halted. The British are on the run. You will go to Beersheba. On the way, we will check every yard of our line. I am reassigning you to be my head of intelligence, and I'm sending you to Beersheba. Yes, sir. In Beersheba, you will report to me personally on whether more troops are needed to hold it. Beersheba has no need of extra troops, General. She has the greatest ally of all, the desert. Another bloody battle we've bloody missed out on. What's the bloody point of bloody being here if they're not gonna let us fight? It beats me. We have attacked the Turks here at Gaza. Both attacks failed. I intend to be in Jerusalem by Christmas. And how do you propose to achieve that, sir? by turning the enemy's flank, by making what I believe to be in certain sporting circles is termed as an end run. In other words, gentlemen, by taking Beersheba. An attack on Beersheba means crossing the desert. There's not a drop of water between here and there. There's plenty of water in Beersheba. Colonel Miners, Hagen. If the men travel light, travel light, 50,000 men would need 400,000 gallons of water a day. Not if they make a lightning dash across the desert and take Beersheba before Johnny Turk knows what's hit him. And the wells in Beersheba are still intact when your forces break through. You don't like the idea, Major Lawrence. 
I like the idea of Jerusalem by Christmas, sir. But a march across the desert will be no picnic. Hmm. So then, everything depends on those wells in Beersheba. With the right element of surprise, we can do it. I shall start a major espionage campaign to make them think that we are going to continue our main attack on Gaza. You'll need to put somebody into Beersheba to keep a watch over those wells. Well, I have contacts there, but I'd need to send in somebody special. A trained agent. Somebody who speaks both Arabic and Turkish. Absolutely trustworthy. I know the man you want. He works for French intelligence in Cairo. He's one of the best. And an old friend. Get him. Be off with you. Ask Allah to forgive you. Allah will bless you. Your generosity is profound. Allah will reward you. In paradise, I'm sure. To meet us? New orders. You've been reassigned. Reassigned? But we're finally making progress here. What about the operation? Low priority compared to this. You've been attached to the British for special assignment. Meiner Sagen is the man in charge. Report to him in Rafa by Wednesday at the latest. Meiner Sagen? Africa. Meiner Sagen is with British intelligence. He sent me with a bunch of old men to blow up a German train. The man's a lunatic. He almost got me killed. Well, sounds like this assignment may prove interesting. So which camp do you want to go to then, sir? The British over there, or the Australians over here? I'm looking for a British officer, but I think he's working with the Australians. Well, I'll let you off here then. Thanks. Bye. Captain Defaults, Belgian Army, reporting as ordered, sir. Ah, oh, you made it. Jolly good to see you again. Are you surprised to hear from me? You could say that, sir. I just did. Now, where is the blasted thing? I had it here yesterday and... Bottom drawer. I should have known. Ah, my binoculars. Here they are. Now. You're just in time. Shall we? Shall we what? Bird watching, mate. Don't you feel silly for asking. Desert Hawk. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. If these hills weren't crawling with Turks. Tosh! There's no enemy here! What do you know about birds, Sergeant? They got wings. Australian? Yeah. John Anders, fourth light horse. Friends call me Jack. Henri de France. Mine call me Henry. Put it there then, Henry. You don't sound Belgian. American, I reckon. I decided to enlist. I wanted to do my part. Name is me and Phyllis for king and country. Phyllis? Amy horse. Figured we'd travel the world, see exotic lands, get shot at by people with machine guns. Now you said right, darling. So what is it? Hmm? It's a red-breasted hooper. What luck? <laughs> There's your damn red-breasted lancer. Bloody hell! Oh my! Tuck! <laughs>
provided with medical attention. I'll get it, Doctor. Keep some pressure on the wound. Oh, do stop this. It's just a scratch. In fact, it's not even that. Sir, what's... Calf's blood from the kitchen. I simply placed the bag under my arm and gave it a jolly good squeeze. Quite an illusion, don't you think? Had me fool. Mm. So what the hell's going on here? Deception. Trickery. A flim-flam designed to convince the Turks that the uh, blood-stained haversack that I left behind was genuine. The haversack? Well, it contains certain documents indicating that we intend to launch another full-scale attack on Gaza within the week. It's a lie, but if they believe it, then they will concentrate all their defences there and leave the real target vulnerable. So what is the real target? Beersheba. Ned? I can't believe it. What are you doing here? <laughs> are you in on this? No, I merely provided Minus some information. The fact that you joined the intelligence service, for example. So this is your fault? Guilty, as charged. News of your little escapade spreading through camp. Excellent. With all the spies knocking about the camp, word is bound to get back to the Turks. It could be a clever attempt to mislead us. Nonsense. The man who drops this was shot. Notes of blood. Also, many of these items are personal. Money. Letters. Here's one from his wife. They just had a baby. I tell you, these documents are real. There is no mistaking it. The British are preparing a major offensive on Gaza. They've tried twice and failed with horrifying losses. So why try again? If I were the British, I'd stop trying to kick the front door in. I'd sneak around the back of the house and enter through the window. Right here at Beersheba. Move a large force across barren desert. Don't be absurd. It's all in here. All the proof I need. I intend to inform General von Christenstein immediately. Of course. You are his head of intelligence. Let me tell you something, Captain. While you place your call to Gaza, I'll order my men to start rigging the wells with dynamite. A waste of effort. A last resort. If you are wrong, and the British do come here, I'll see that they're deprived of the very thing they need most. Water. An army in the desert travels on it. Men need it. Horses need it. In all things, water is the difference between life and death. And there's not a drop between here and Beersheba. I've looked. Alan plan is to march 50,000 men across the desert in a span of two days. Mobility is crucial, so each man will be issued with only one canteen of water and enough ammunition for the assault. By the time they get there, their canteens will be empty and their horses will have been without water for some 30 hours. My God. They must take Beersheba that same day with the wells intact or they'll be stranded in the desert without water. It's do or die, there's no turning back. But you're talking about 50,000 men. That is why victory must be swift and total. Surprise is the key. My haversack and I have taken the first step. Now it is up to you to reinforce the illusion. Tomorrow, you and another agent will leave for Beersheba, where you will make contact with our operative there. And my mission? Do everything you can to protect those wells. They ain't birds, sir. Them's bloody bullets. <laughs> bullets, you say? I had no idea the desert lark was conversant in firearms. How rude. Perhaps we should turn back. It's good to see you again, Dad. And you too. Though I'm shocked to find you so grown up. In my mind's eye, you're still the little boy that I used to terrify with tales of mummies walking the night. And they still scare me, thanks to you. Then I've done some good in the world, though I doubt Miss Seymour would approve. What news of her? We exchange letters from time to time. She's still as blustery as ever. And your father? I really haven't had time to write. Perhaps you should make the effort. 
I'm sure he worries. We've never really had that much to say to each other, Ned. You know that. But that's not just his failing, surely. Hey, there's my bloke, Henry. Say hello to my mates. Fellas, this is Henry. G'day, Henry. Dex. G'day, Kevin. Dessa. Come on, drink up and help us settle this. These blokes think I'm having them on. Now, Jack says your Major Watts has nearly got knocked bird watching. Now, me, I say Jacko's full of beans. Well, that's true. <laughs> that Brit has got to be the silliest excuse for a Major I ever saw. That's it! Oh, look out. One more word out of your Aussie mouth and you're it for a pasty. Says who, mate? Gunnery Sergeant Porter, eh, Battery? British Artillery, that's bloody you. My ears are burning with you running down our fine British officers. Oh, yeah, I order. Easy, mate, easy, mate. Relax. There's no offence meant, Gunny. Here, have a round on us. It's not your fault your officers are idiots. What's your moat, Aussie? Truth hurts, eh? How you British officers ever expect to win this war? Oh, yeah? At least we're in it. Not a bunch of yellow slackers sitting out of the show. Nah, you're a bunch of dancing girls tripping over your garters. Step aside, give us a chance. We'll win the war for you. <laughs> <laughs> you bloody dingo scoundrel. I say we give these boys a battle to write home about. Teach them some manners. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold it, hold it. Listen, we're all on the same side, right? Nobody wants to get thrown in the stockade. I'm sure there's a peaceful way we can settle this. Perhaps I may have a suggestion. Out of bounds. That's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice effort, Henry. You almost scored. Too bad I got pounded by British artillery. Now I know how the Turks feel. So, what did that British officer mean about you Australians being left out of the war? Ah, oh, it's the bloody British. They want all the glory, so they keep us in reserve most of the time. It's like they don't trust us to fight. Yeah, it makes no sense. We took a beating at Gallipoli, but we gave as good as we got. Didn't we, boys? Too bloody right. Well, I think they'd want to make use of experienced cavalry. Oh, we're not cavalry. Mounted infantry. Big difference, see? It's all about mobility. We ride our horses to where the battle is, dismount, and then proceed on foot. That's how we fight. If they'd let us. Thanks. Jack says you're not a bad horseman yourself. For a yank. What do you say we have a gallop? Dex, man's tired. Well, if not, nobody here will think worse of him. Holy fellas. Mate, Dex is the fastest bugger west of Warrnambool. You <laughs> should see his trophy case back home. Our father's farms are next door. We grew up together. I never beat him in a race either. Nobody has. <laughs> <laughs>
few broken pillars. That's all that remains. Yet, when you think of the armies that marched past here, men who made history here, the children of Israel, the Syrians, Hittites, the Romans, Crusaders, and now us. Do you think they knew they were making history? I think some of them did. And we will too if we take Jerusalem by Christmas. And if we don't? Then we shall fade with the glories of Nineveh and Tyre. Unheralded, unremembered, no more. Beersheba is that important? It's that important. Does it scare you? A little. Only a little. <laughs> All right, a lot. There's a well at Beersheba called the Well of Abraham. You think Abraham used it? Bible says that he brought his flocks out of the desert and watered them there, which, in a way, is what you have to do. Only I'm no Abraham, and those soldiers aren't sheep. Well, some of the generals think they are. You know, I've been spending a lot of time with that group of Australians. They're really a nice bunch of guys. What are their chances? Non-existent if you fail. So play up. <laughs> play up and play the game. I'll try, Ned. All I want is an end to this war and then peace, if Allah wills. Well, you might find that pretty difficult. You know, you're starting to become famous. Famous? Me? Lawrence of Arabia. That's what they're calling you. They say you... Henry, don't. It makes me sick. I came into the desert because I was ordered to, and because I wanted to help the Bedouin regain their independence. All the rest, I never looked for it, I never wanted it. It just happened. What's it like, the desert? It's like nowhere else on this earth. It's the most terrible place there is. And the most wonderful. Rise and shine. We've got a lot of ground to cover before you leave this morning. I'm up, I'm up. Ah, good. Ah. Pay attention. You will be travelling disguised as a merchant, carrying goods to Beersheba. Your contact there will be this man, Kazim Yochar, cafe owner. One of my more dependable agents. This contains much of what you'll need. Clothing, identity papers, postcards. They'll come in handy, believe me. <laughs> and these are a special item that I have custom made for you. Great. Disgusting old boots. Not just boots. The right one contains a hidden inner sleeve. It might just give you the extra edge when you need it most. Pun intended. Feel the balance. Do you throw? Right. Work on it. You said I'd be travelling with another agent. Maya. A woman? Her guise will be that of a belly dancer. You are her escort. This just got interesting. You're using too much wrist. Keep it stiff. Thanks for the tip. Just got back from patrol. Saw some heavy action. Them or us? Join us for lunch.
There you go, mate. Compliment to the fourth light horse. Thanks. It's pretty good. So, uh, what kind of outfit are you with, Henry? Well, actually, I'm in the Belgian army, but right now I'm attached to French intelligence. Intelligence? What do you need to have to be in that? Brains. Which lets you out for a start. <laughs> so what do you do? A bit of spying and stuff? Yeah, sort of. So, um, what are you doing here? Uh... Give it a rest, Dex. Can't you see the man doesn't want to talk about it? Was well, that right? Sorry, mate. It's all right. It's a really good rabbit. Oh, it's nothing to what we got back in Australia. In Australia, we got rabbits as big as kangaroos. Really? <laughs> yeah, kangaroos as big as horses. Big as horses? Is that right. right? My old man saw one once. Big as an elephant. An elephant? You don't say. <laughs> well, if you've ever been to Australia, you'd know what I was talking about. Well, actually, I have been to Australia. Oh, the kangaroos, they look pretty normal-sized to me. You've been in Australia? <laughs> well, good on your sport. Well, God's own country, right? That's right. It was great. Actually, I flew an airplane with Harry Houdini. Strife. He's pulling your leg. Ah, yeah. No, it's true. It's great, though. I love Australia. Wish I was there now. You getting homesick? No. It's just... I miss Mary. Is that your girl? Sweetest girl in Australia. Next to Josie, of course. Is that your girl? No, that's my wife. I've got a little one coming on any day now. <laughs> really? That's great. Yeah. We'd be doing more good back with them than sitting around here. You don't mean that, Dex. I'm just sick of the sight of this bloody place. When are you going to see a bit of action? Never, I reckon. We're stuck here for the rest of the bloody war. What do you reckon, Henry? They got anything planned for us? I really couldn't say. And if he did know, he wouldn't let on. Not even to his mates? It's not every day I can get invited by the general for tea, so... Well, whatever they got in mind for us, doesn't bother me. So long as I got my horse. Oh, Dex. Loves his bloody horse. I just hope if I can't finish the war, he'll finish it for me. Well, I really better get going. Thanks a lot for the meal. across the desert. Next time we meet, though, drinks will be on me. Maybe we should take along and make sure there's no trouble. Not this time. We've been reassigned. Appreciate the offer, though. You fellas, take care of yourselves. Yeah, well, maybe we'll see you around. Saying goodbye to friends. There she is. Why don't you fellows get ready? A bit more walnut juice under the chin. Under tooth. How do I look? Sleazy. Gentlemen, may I present Maya? It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise, I'm sure. Well, good luck to you both, Major Lawrence. Until the next time.
Come on. I guess this is it. I must get back to my own little part of the wall. I have overstayed my welcome as it is. All right. It's not easy saying goodbye to friends. Stay alive, Ned. You too, Indy. What is our destination? Gaza or Beersheba? That is on a need-to-know basis. Right now, you don't need to know. Sooner or later, I must turn my camel in one direction or the other. That's when you'll need to know. Anything else? Yes. I have not been told when the attack is coming. Is that also on a need-to-know basis? Afraid so. Do you intend to infuriate me this entire trip? It's not my idea. It's standard procedure. If we get captured and tortured, it cuts the risk of our spilling information in half. In other words, I'll be tortured to death, and you won't. Look, rules are rules. You'll be brief when the time comes. As you wish, oh great Sahib. Are we going to Gaza or Beersheba? We're headed for Beersheba. Well, that must have been difficult. You're not very good with a knife, are you? I guess not. You know, I've been traveling with you all afternoon, and I still have no idea what you look like. I travel as a Bedouin woman. We must maintain appearances. What if you get kidnapped by bandits? How can I rescue you if I don't know what you look like? It's on a need-to-know basis. Right now, you don't need to know. break camp and move out into the desert. The men will carry water for two days only. I repeat, two days only. Any questions? At our destination, sir? For the moment, unknown. Very well, we march in one hour. for you, then I'll shut up, I promise. What brought you out here? I mean, what made you want to become an agent? My people and their cause. And what is their cause? You said one question. I have answered it. All right, you answered it. Looks like a sandstorm starting up. Whatever happens, Jack and Dex will be riding right into the middle of it. Should be starting about now. Who's starting? Uh, it's not. It's not important. Oh, we just got orders. Night march. We're too. They're not saying it's bloody big though. The whole damn camp moves out in 20 minutes. But don't just go. Get on with it.
time to go. I don't think so. Who are they? I don't know. Well, can't you tell what tribe they're from? They may not be from any tribe. Well, what's that supposed to mean? They may be outcasts. Outcasts? Brigands, robbers, murderers. Oh, great. Whatever you do, don't offend them. Just stay here. Watch me. <laughs> Greetings, Lord. Allah, please be with you. We have some coffee, Lord. If it pleases you, we would be honored if maybe... You have used our water. Yes, sir, but a teeny little bit. This is our water. Yes. A thousand pardons, sir. I'm an ignorant man. I had no idea if you... Where were... are you from? We're from Syria, sir. Where are you going? Well, where does the poor merchant go in these troubled times? He goes where the market is. You trade with the English? A bit with the English, yes. Sir. <sighs> But also with the Turks. The Turks? <laughs> but only when I'm forced to. No, the Turk, bad, he's a pig. You are worse than a pig. You're right, sir. I am nothing. I have nothing. I'm but a poor merchant who wants to feed the belly of his wife and... Goodbye, yes, sir. Oh. Great. Now you've done it. What? What did I do? Why did you have to mention the Turks? How was I supposed to know? They could be their allies. Are you crazy? They hate the Turks more than anything. Welcome, Lord. Welcome. You have drunk our water. Now you must pay. Willingly. What do my lords desire? Show us. Yes, please sit down. I will show you. My poor goods are truly worthless. But if something pleases you, you tell me. That is woman's work. You're right, Lord. I'm truly stupid. Why are you standing there, idle woman? Come here quickly. Are you trying to shame me? Must I beat you again? Show him your knife. My knife, Lord, it is nothing. Show it to him. Yes, Lord. I will show you something better. You see, Lord, silk from Damascus. We got salt, coffee. Pans for cooking, fresh pots from the souks of Beirut. Trash, all of it is trash. You're right, Lord. I'm the most miserable of men. Get ready to make a run for it. Don't be stupid. Look, if we can... Shh. We are merciful men. You may go. Oh, praise be from Allah, Lord. But you must pay for the water. Yes, Lord, anything. We take one camel. One camel, Lord, I am honored. And the woman. And the woman? Now go! Lord, 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 no, I, I, she is lazy. She's the worst of her kind. She's good for nothing. Lord, she brings my life nothing but misery. <laughs> then you'll be happy to be rid of her. No, Lord, now you listen Shut to me. Shut your mouth, dog! And go while you can. Obey him. I said, get out of here. Now!
You're going the wrong way. What happened? How did you get away from those Arabs? Don't ask. I believe this knife belongs to you. How far behind you are they? I gave them a sleeping potion. It will be at least another hour before they wake up. Our head start isn't much. They won't come after us. Why not? Because. Why not? Because I have their clothes. Looks like that sandstorm's getting closer. That could be dangerous. We must go west along the Great Ravine. Okay, why don't we cross here? It will never take the camels. I think we should do it. I'm not gonna get caught in that sandstorm. No Bedouin would do this. Yeah, well, I'm not a Bedouin. No! You're a fool! It's impossible to get those camels across this bridge. It's not impossible. You'll never get them across this bridge. What are you doing now? Unloading the camels. All you have to do is to catch our camels and get the rest of our stuff across. Careful with that plastic cup. Make certain those wires are well hidden. Yes, sir. What's happened to our agent? Should have been here hours ago. This heat is unbearable. 
Imagine how much more unbearable it must be for those out in the desert. Hopefully, we're about to find out. Gentlemen, our objective is Beersheba. Well, it's official. We're here for Beersheba. We're halfway there. Save your water, mate. You're going to need as much as you can get. Listen, try and get some sleep. We've got a long ride ahead of us. Yeah, who can sleep in this bloody heat? State your business. To provide that which lacks, I'm a trader and fine goods offending. <laughs> Let them pass. Stay with the camels. with high explosives. But there's good news. Colonel Ismet Bey has been repeatedly denied reinforcements from Gaza. Well, Gaza's only 35 kilometers up the road, so that could change. It hasn't yet. Grab a pigeon, blue cage. Wells are rigged. the red cage. Those you can cook. Mm, such delicacies. Only for my most honored guests. Watches, watches. Pardon, you must see. Finest quality silver watches. Uh. That is Colonel Ismet Bey in charge of the Turkish garrison here. And that is Captain Schiller, head of German intelligence. A most unpleasant man. Well, I guess I finally get to see what's underneath all that. I bet she's really homely.
treasure this. She still doesn't know where the attack is coming from. They haven't told her. Easy, boy. I'm worried about these horses. They can't go this long without water. We should reach water by morning. Smacked in red. I'm sure they're all tied into one detonation point. Do you know what it is? I could not find out. We'll have to cut the wires individually, but not tonight. There are sentries everywhere. All right, tomorrow when the shelling starts. Meet me at the first well just before dawn. The well of the oath it shall be done. Yeah, well, it better be done right. If we miss this thing out, 50,000 men could die of thirst. Captain Defense. Now that you have seen me, are you disappointed? Quite the opposite. I am pleased. But there must be more to my role than entertaining a bunch of Turks. There is. Well of Abraham, one hour. Be careful. You know, this is a very famous well. I know, the well of Abraham. He was the father of the Jewish people. Abraham was also the father of the Arab people. Listen, I need you to dance again tomorrow for Colonel Bay and Schiller. And I need you to start at exactly 1,300 hours. So the attack is coming I here? I didn't say that. I'll tell you as soon as we... When I need to know, you are impossible. Well, don't be angry with me. You are so beautiful. I know. This is not what we should be doing. No. It's not professional. No, it's, it's not. Mm. Delicious. It's like the water. Yes. Mm. Something. Mehmetçiler! We're in trouble, get dressed. There it is, mate. Beersheba. All that lovely water lead me to it. Doesn't look like it's gonna be easy. The British are here in 
force. Impossible. Connect me with Gaza as soon as possible. General von Kreschenstein's headquarters. It is merely a diversion to make us think they are here in force. You will cancel that call. Captain Schiller. Cancel the call! I've got to get a message out. Grab one of those pigeons. Plan has failed. Kasim arrested. I didn't want it to be this way, but here's your briefing. The real attack is here, Beersheba. They're bound to get that information out of Kasim. There'll be massive reinforcements coming from Gaza within no time. That's why we've got to warn our people. Attack from the center. What about the Australian light horse, sir? The light horse will be kept in reserve. Bloody better not be left out this time. Give the artillery the order to open fire. Right. Fire! I don't care. Bring me through to Gaza now. What are you doing? I'm calling General von Kreschenstein for reinforcements. Tell him. This man is a spy for the British. He has confirmed to me that the real attack is here, at Beersheba. You're a traitor. Not to my cause. You see, I have excellent spies, but mine are better. Rashid, bring in the prisoner. Same. Sorry, Indy, I already told him. Believe me, I'm sorry. Tell the Colonel what you told me. Damn it! Keep your mouth shut! It's too late, spy. Your little charade is now truly exposed. Tell him. The girl. The girl. She's a double agent working for Colonel Ismet Bay. Did you know? We knew from the start. That's why she was brought. It was part of the ploy. To use her to feed you false information. Convince you the attack was at Beersheba. And the real attack? Gaza. Lock him up and clean up this mess. Nebatula! <laughs> of it, Colonel. The ploy behind the ploy. You are under attack by a skillful illusion. A few artillery pieces lobbing shells, men and horses kicking up dust. A trick. There will be no reinforcements. Over here. Mm -hmm. It worked. They're not sending their reinforcements to Beersheba. And if Cheval can get through to the city before nightfall... Jerusalem by Christmas. Congratulations, sir. We're not out of the woods yet. Let's hope your Captain de France comes through. Anzacs are getting the stuffing kicked out of them. This is taking too long, Jack. We should have been in that town by now. I'll go see what I can find out. Stay low.
sir. The men are wondering. So am I, Sergeant. Resistance has been fierce and unexpected. Damn Turks have got us at a bit of a standstill. That's a fact. Well, how long do you expect us to hold out? We've been bloody grilling in this ravine all morning. Horses haven't had a drink in nearly two days. I wish I had that answer for you, son. Sergeant will accompany you, sir. Thank you, Colonel. I believe we'll be back with good news. Sure doesn't look too good over there. Not much daylight left. But I've got a bold idea. And I have the British go for it. Good luck, sir. Our advance on Beersheba has been seriously delayed. Fortifications of unknown strength still face us across a plain of some three miles. Gentlemen, our situation is past desperate. If we do not take that town by dark, our men are doomed. Suggestions? I think my men could take that town. I propose a mounted charge at the 4th and 12th. Sir, look at that Grant's suggestion. It's absurd. His men are mounted infantry. If we charge, I insist it be my cavalry. The charge is exactly what the Turks would expect from the British cavalry. And the last thing they'd expect from my men. I think we can do it. Too bloody right. Grant's men are closer. Already in position. A mounted charge against entrenched machine guns and artillery is insane. It's never been done. Perhaps because it's never been tried. Put Grant straight at it. Mount up and deploy on the eastern flank! Fox squadron line extended! What's going on, Jack? We're gonna get some water, mate. Where? Beersheba. Just got orders to charge. God almighty! Since when have we become cavalry? It's bloody now! Forward! Mounted regiments are deploying to the eastern flank. It looks like they intend to charge. They won't. Put all reserve troops to the eastern trenches, just in case. One hell of a race. I'm here for the prisoners. Where have you been? Don't ask. Next time, you play the dead man. on this side. Uh-huh. I'll go this way and I'll meet you back at the cafe. Yeah. Good luck. 2,800 meters! Let's go! 
Six divisions. Get Schiller up here. I got three of them. So did I. The well of the oath is the last. Come with me. Tell his enemy the truth and convince him it's a lie. What are you babbling about? Your little illusion has come to Beersheba. 50,000 strong. Idiot! Blow up the wells! Here it is. of 7 isn't bad. Yeah, we're gonna have to be sure they don't rewire the wells. We have to hold them off until the Australians arrive. Only one blow up. The wires must have been cut by the shelling. Get your men out there and repair them at once. Stay, stay! Go tell him, go tell him. switchboard above Bay's office when we put on our little performance. It's our only chance. Come on. Raya, it's time. Where are you going? Carrying out the strategic retreat.
It's impossible. We'll never get in there. Come on, let's try around the back. But you can't just leave me behind. What about the wells? Clear up the mess you created. I suggest you start by reconnecting those wires and blowing up the wells yourself. No, you will stay here! Man, look out! Close we came. Within an inch. All right, move the prisoners out. Okay, move it. Hands up. Let's go. Come on. Big, big, moving. Well, it looks like you blokes did it. <laughs> no. No, you blokes did it. 
all 800 of you. Only 31 casualties. It's got to be some kind of miracle. We lost Dex coming in. His horse made it first to the trenches. He would have liked that. Well, Henry, you kept your promise. Yeah, I guess we'll be in Jerusalem by Christmas. Can't think of a better place. I'd rather be at that time. Come on, fellas. Let's drink this place dry. Thank you.